Shila. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to the start of a new series. I've created this character, Fix You, who is a blood elf priest. And the idea of this series is that we're going to level the priest in the dungeon's healing. Also, I've decided to use heirlooms, heirloom armor, that is. And if you're not familiar with the game, it's kind of hard to explain this concept, but these are items that you earn if you play the game a lot, and it saves you getting gear. Basically, I'm pre-geared, and also I get a lot more experience faster. Anyway, nonetheless, we're going to crack on with leveling up to level 10, and then we're going to use Dungeon Finder to find groups to quest with in the dungeons. I've just picked up a quest here, killing mana worms, so I'm going to continue on doing that. I've only got one spell at the moment on my action bar down here, smite. So I've just got to go around smiting mana worms like that. There's plenty of mana worms. We're in the Sunstride Isle as well, probably worth mentioning. Actually, I might even not bother to loot. We're just going to focus this series on the process of healing in dungeons. Maybe even use Raid Finder at some point. Back to Magistrix Irona. new spell. Kill lynxes, get their collars. See if there's any other quests available. Nope. I'm not using any quest add-ons at the moment. Let's come up here. You can see on the mini-map the game tries to guide you. Is that what we want? Lynx collars. Okay. Spring poor cubs. see the capital city over there in the distance. And you'll notice that leveling is pretty easy with this gear. Barely do any damage to me. generally. I just feel like part of the fun of the game is to find your own gear as you level. However, for the purpose of this series, it's not about the gear, it's just about leveling in dungeons. One more collar we need. my graphics settings up nice and high, so hopefully the game just looks good in the video. Okay, now we run back, hand that in. I haven't actually played a priest character for quite a while. I used to play it quite a lot, way back. So I'll be learning a bit about the class as we go. What have we got here? Flash heal. So the 
is my first healing spell. Solanian, accept and accept. Let's come down here, jump down. Just picking up a bunch of quests is what I'm doing. Just gonna empty my bags as well. Lots of things to sell. Oh, there's a ring. on. Let's put that ring on. Oh, I can only wear one ring. That's annoying. Didn't know that. Oh well. Not to worry. Right, let's Head down here. Got a racial ability here. Arcane Torrent. This gives me mana. Okay. Could hand that in. Let's come back. to do here. Arcane slivers. I think I have to loot these guys for arcane slivers. Yep. It's a bit strange that quest. You have to kill the worms again. And you will notice that I'll be leveling up extremely fast with this gear on because it gives you all bonuses. So we're going to level extremely quickly. I'm already at level 3. If you're not sure what I'm doing, I'm just literally hitting smite over and over again. Smiting my way to, to glory. I've only got one decent attack spell. Okay. Let's come down here. Go to Lanthan Perilum. Complete quest, picking up, oh, gotta kill tenders and ferals. Let's have a look at the map. The quest over there. The shrine. Tenders. I've got to pick up his gear as well. So we'll do that. These are the tenders. Skill seven. About to go up another level. shield. That's a shielding spell. Puts a bubble around you like that. Protects you from harm. We'll probably be using that for 
healing others. We'll be putting a protective shield around that, but we'll get to that later. Here's a scroll, I need to collect that. Feral tenders. As you can see, I'm blazing away here, leveling up extremely fast. Some players just want to get to the end game. They don't like the leveling process. I'm not one of those players. I really, really enjoy the leveling process more than the end game. I'm just going to go to my interface, action bars, lock action bars, and unlock them. So I'm going to put him up here. At some point, I'm going to have to figure out where I want all my buttons on the bar. Got to read this little plaque. There we go, that'll do. That's enough reading. Blood Elves are not renowned for their patience to read things. Just by the way, that's just an aside. Let's come down here, look at all this loot I'm ignoring. Another tender. Magical fountain. Okay. Might, might as well do the rest of that quest down here. This graphics card allows you to see all those amazing things in the background. When I first started playing the game, I didn't have a very good computer, so I could never see all the fine details of the, the game. I never saw the background at all, ever. If I come down to the water, you can see the landscape reflected in the water. That uses quite a lot of graphics of power to do that. Let's take this orb. The only downside, I guess, for me is that when you pump the graphics abilities up a little bit in the game, the graphics card sometimes puts pressure on the processor and you hear a little bit of a increase in the cooling fan which I don't know, like normally it's not a problem but when you're trying to record a video for ASMR you could, it's kind of annoying actually, trying to create a silent environment as possible anyway, the microphone may not pick it up so I've got four quests to hand in blasting along here Power leveling. Just pick a random prize. I'm not really interested in the loot or the money at the moment. That's one of the downsides for me of, power, of speed leveling with this gear. Is it you just tend to overlook all the finer details of the game in your haste to get to the maximum level, but the game designers have put so much into the game, it's quite, it can be quite immersive, quite an immersive experience. I love these little cats, <laughs> blood elves and cats, quite funny to me. And there's another level, and I've got another attack spell. So I'm going to put my healing spells to the side for the time being. We just need attack spells until we get to level 10. Ok, 
Okay. Empty the bags. you can see in the horizon. It's kind of the last quest you could say in this starting area. So I'm already at level five. And you'll notice one of the big things that's different in the modern game relative to the older expansions is you don't have to keep going back to your trainer to learn the spells. You just learn them automatically as you run along. It's a good time saver, I suppose. Does it add to the game, ultimately? Maybe not. Maybe it detracts from the overall experience. Okay, you've got to kill eight of these. Wow. I think they drop a quest. That's why I'm looting them. Also, you've got um, a loot function, so everything loots. So what I'm saying is you only have to loot one creature. It picks up all of the loot. Jade Spirit Prunk. There we go. Tainted. That's what I needed. Come up here. One more arcane wraith needed. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There's a bird outside my window just screaming, which is too cool. that little green guy. And finally at the very top, Felandrin, the boss, I guess you'd call him. All the way up here, it's up very, quite high actually. Done. We need his head and we'll half back to the start. Nice. First thing we'll do. Actually, let's hand in the quest up here first. Arcanist Helian. Chainthus Theron. Empty the bags. Very good. Let's come down here. So 19 minutes in, or 20 minutes in, I'm already at level 5. That's pretty fast. When you don't need to loot. Alright, we 
We're now heading out of this area, another part of the heirloom sort of prize is you get this mount, which is hilarious really. A chauffeur driven motorbike with sidecar speeds up the process a bit. So let's drive along. Let's stick to the roads, shall we? Show some respect for nature. I've actually never bothered to stick to the roads before. It's actually quite fun steering. Okay, just take a bit of a moment to absorb the scenery. We're heading away from this little island behind. It's basically an island, as you can see, to the mainland, into the old city here. Complete quest. Accept a new quest. He is a slain outrunner. And now, I'm level 6. Got a new spell here, that's a buff. Power word fortitude. Gives you some stamina. Okay, deliver Arona's package. Will do. So we're heading to the next leveling zone now. So we'll head along here. This is the interior of the old Blood Elf city. It's now abandoned. Taken over by hostile forces. There's a Blood Elf guard patrolling. All of the colours of the trees. Dark reds. It's kind of autumn me. There's a flight path up here. We'll grab that. Okay. Falcon Square. Dismounting now. Pick up all the quests here. inside into the inn Delaney make this in my home complete the quest whoops take the spring water and now we'll head back out and we'll quick look at the map, we're going to head into this area here and complete some of the quests. Now, I can't quite remember what I've got to do. I've got to collect these. I've got to kill these guys. No. these boxes. Let's have a look at the map. Arcane cores. Got it. robots, these robots. I have to 
delete those guys. Grab these boxes. And just smite them. effects you might notice. Okay, I don't need any more of those boxes. I need to kill this guy here. I need to kill these robots too. smite. Take his head, put the buff on myself, stamina increase by 5%. It's now a percentage buff. Used to be a uh, actual set figure. I think the percentage is a better idea. Let's take that guy down. shot him. Two more robots. Passing through these guys to get to that robot up ahead. Let's smite this guy. Smite the wretched urchin. Okay. So many wretched urchins. Mounting up. Need to find one more of those guardian robots. There's one. It looks like he's bugged. Can we unstuck him? that's everything. So we'll drive back to the base. All these mobs I haven't looted. Blasting through the enemies. after me, but will not catch me. Okay, let's hand in a quest. Take the new quest. And another quest. Probably going to go up another level. Nice, and there's, that's a fear spell. Send your enemies running away. Oh, there's another quest he's got. Let's have a look. Is there anything more? No. Once again, we're heading on to a new area. And away we 
we go. No professions to waste time on. Pure leveling speed. Okay. Not sure where to head. I'm gonna head back this way, it seems. There's a quest up here as well. Let's take that one. Apprentice Raylan. I remember this quest. It's a little bit of a chain quest. Come down to this bridge, and there's his little buddy here. He's lost a book under the water, I think. There it is. So we're just going to ride our motorbike. way across to this small island up here. I'm going to jump my bike off this mound here. A little bit of stunt riding. Keeper, Finalia, we now have to kill these guys. smiting everyone inside. Not sure why I lose it then. It's force of habit. It's hard to play this game and not lose. Just going around one-shotting everyone. Take the incriminating document. Okay. Mount up, hand that quest in. Come back here to Lake Heap of Valania. And in the quests. And we're going up another level. Desperate Prayer. What does Desperate Prayer do? Increases the maximum health by 25%. For 10 seconds. I see. Interesting spell. I've got a few things to learn. I don't know that spell at all. Alright, let's head back this direction. And we're going to head back 
to not sure where we're going actually maybe back to the inn I think is where the game is leading me so in two more levels we can use the dungeon finder and we'll level up with the dungeon finder which appears down here group finder it's called just to be precise it's probably worth handing in junk just clearing the bags let's come up here yeah. Elden Got a buff there, Fortitude of Cinderai. Alright, we're going to talk to this dwarf. I need a moment of your time, sir. Step inside. We have to kill him. He's a bad dwarf. Take his head. Jump down. And back on the bike. And back to the inn. at level 10, not quite. Now do we drive on the left or the right? to do all of these because we're going to hit level 10 pretty quickly I think trade supplies ranger to call in Oops, Rookie Error. 
that's a quest we've got to fly back to Silver Moon City. Another quest over here. It's mounted up. Let's head up here. Ranger Sarian. see lots of quests. Let's head up here and do the, this one first. I think kill undead. Is it just here? Yeah. On the scar. or bones. Crazy. some decorum. Show that we're above the beasts, that we're civilized. Whoops, went off the road there. Just a bad driver, maybe. Ranger Sarian, and here we are again. Put Fade there. Don't really need these guys. I'm going to be healing in dungeons soon, so I won't need my offensive spells, I don't think. Let me just check where I'm heading. We're going to go down here, off-road again, as you can see. Do I need to kill those guys? Spring pause, I do. Saltharian's Haven. Party invitation. Alchemy. Enchanting. Let's pick up enchanting.
That's still on, apparently. thugs. Wretched hooligans. Don't need to loot them though. Let's head in here. Shadow word death, why not? No, shadow word pain. I'm not sure. Where should we go now? Where to go? Where to go? Let's head back up here. We still need to kill lynxes. So we'll head through the trees hoping to see lynxes. What's this one? Scorched Grove. guys. Ten of them, to be precise. Park. 
smiting away. Smitey. It's four more. achieved. Very good. We are now heading back this way. So, spring boars. Still got to kill those guys. all the pelts hand those in oops took a wrong turn there need to come up here a little bit more back up to fair breeze village VLAN up, up to the Ranger to go in. Report to Lieutenant Dawnrunner. Right. Well, I've got a plan. Let's head to Silver Moon City, and we will probably be hitting level 10 very shortly. This is a very bouncy ride. Over the Dead Scar. Instructor and Theo. I'm literally one point away from level ten. That's funny. Do I get any? experience for discovering the city. I do. Great. Well, we're level 10 now. 
We've unlocked our talents. So let's dismount. We're going to select Holy Priest. Activate that. We've got some specialty spells for the Holy Priest. Smite, I can probably put up here, Mind Blast, put up there. Maybe even put them further along. So what have we got? Flash Heal. Resurrection, I'll put all the way over here. Desperate Prayer. sure how Desperate Prayer works at the moment. What else? Well, that'll do for now, I think. And when I see you next time, we're going to start leveling up in the dungeons. Thank you for joining me on this leveling journey. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.